Hi dear friends, welcome back to English class. Previously, in dealing with the chapters, let's go ahead with chapter number four. I hope you are watching this stories, wonderful inspirational story, reading because the books are. I may mean, I understand that you may not have books in hard copy, but definitely books are available on NCERT link. You can get in touch with them. In today's lecture about fourth, that is from the diary of Anne Frank. My dear students, chapter number four is also very important. From a perspective that is writing task, because in tenth standard, one of the topics is also diary writing, and therefore how to write a diary, what the diary is all about. Here, Anne Frank writes her own experiences. Sometimes, my dear friends, that I have felt, when you are unable to share your deepest feelings, sentiments, and emotions to anyone or any person, we start or you start developing your writing skills. You start writing either in the form of literature, poems, essay, poetic version, stanza, or you just try to form certain things. This is what, my dear friends, we are going to have in this lecture. For us, it's a simple story of a 13 to 14 year old old girl who has experienced the invasion by, you know, Hitler during the World War II, a very very critical situation where no stability of the family is there. We know how Hitler has persecuted. The Jewish people, and therefore, they, being Jew herself, and Frank and Mr. Frank, the entire family, they had gone to refuge, okay, in order to have shelter to Floland, and therefore, my dear friends, in different parts they were moving, they were hiding themselves. Now, in that particular thing, how she maintains her diary. She is a very very simple ordinary girl who is a very very talkative person just like you and me who is very much interested in the things like she is also like one of us who doesn't like to study much she is also like one of us who doesn't like maths so much many of us, many of us it's not I am not taking my words for exaggeration but sometimes many of us did not, do not like mathematics and here we have Anne Frank, same form. Okay, now let us understand. Before we move to understand the story and the main thing of the chapter, we have jotted down some of the points and you will be given the exact note that I have moved and written on the board. You will have that thing. We have formulated. You will have to so be clear about that particular thing. But before that, let me tell you, there are some of the genres, some of the types of writing. Okay, so it is given in the textbook. It is given in the textbook itself. And what the first one we have is a journal. Okay. Yes. What is a journal? A journal is a book with the separate space. Now you may have a journal in science, you may have in some of the, uh, you know, experimental basis uh, subjects that we have, we have journals. Space or page for each day. Okay, now journal also is affiliated with periodical or chronological things. So periodical, a different period, different time when we want to write something, it's periodical. So journal is meant for that. Each day you are supposed to maintain some of some of your accounts. Account is not in terms of financial account. Accounts is what is the 
activity or what are the activities that you do during the day and you just jot them down okay second one what we have is a diary and a, a form of there are various types you can write the real diary you can write that your experience a diary can be your companion a diary can be a very very close friend to you and me because it's it's that that you know the innermost and you don't want to. there are so many secrets that we don't want to share with anyone and therefore what we do is to maintain a diary yes what is a diary a full record of a journey a period of time whatever 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 so you just it's a very very close companion of yours and you want to have a thing written that i met so and so person at that particular time at that particular day okay he had worn or she had worn that particular dress whatever whatever that you want to keep as a secret for yourself okay yes log what is a log okay now logs have been found in newspaper in some of the periodicals in some of the magazines the famous personalities famous people they write to log in that they mention what is that a record of the person's own life and experiences you see when you saw like just for an example a spirituality from times of india when we have or you know spiritual tree or tree speaking whatever then you you have an insight you have a very good thought and that you want to just put there and that is what you maintain a log a column that is what they say column writer a log writer we have people like that the fourth one is memoirs okay so the second one is a uh, diary or a log but the fourth one is memoir now memory is a different than memoirs okay now that is the word from which the memory word has been arrived okay yeah. so this is memoirs why memoirs memoirs is a kind of you know autobiography or a kind of persons again it's just like a log but log is uh, separated because this has got plenty of length and it has got chapters after chapter whereas this log is just giving you a note of a small event or episode okay my dear friends so this is what you can just pay attention on the board and then now what we are going to do is to begin the chapter at length okay before i move further i want you to read some of the points so that you understand how we are going to move into the chapter once again i would like to tell you it's a form of a diary and the diary which gives us the detailed account of 13 to 14 year of old and frank in 1942 yes dear friends before we understand any of the chapters we need to have the chapter sketch what is the chapter sketch it is not the art or something like that chapter sketch which means the central idea of a chapter so in this chapter from the diary of anne frank the writer anne frank herself so it is also called an autobiography because it is her own experience Frank tells about her true companion, a diary. You see, she and her diary, a true companion, very close friend. She writes everything about her life in her diary. Considers her true friend. Why true friend? Because diary will never leak the secrets out. At the time of invasion, invasion you understand from the social science point of view. Invasion, which means any of the king or any of the uh, authority, when uh, overpowers. another country or another state so that is called invasion okay german over flow land her family hid itself you see some of like when in india and gujarat and in when i talk from the social science perspective the india has uh, gone through invasions from various moguls and british as well at the time she started to write her diary perhaps she had moved from here to there and therefore in order to find a true companion she started writing the diary 
She kept all the secrets there. So this is what, in her adolescence year, in her adolescence, which means 12 or 13 or 14, before you are very much mature enough, in, in your uh, pubic time, in your adolescent time, you start writing about. Let us see about the characters. Anne Frank, that is the story writer, our writer. She's 13 year old Jewish girl who writes the diary. She's hiding in Amsterdam from Nazis during World War II. So it's a very, very critical time. Margaret Frank, Anne's sister, she is three years older too. Okay, older too. So she has also a sister. Name is Margaret Frank. We are not much to be much bothered, but when it comes to write from her perspective, we do mention what the family member, how many family members she had. Third in character, we have Otto Frank, Anne's father. He is a Jewish businessman who left Germany after Hitler's rise to power. So uh, perhaps they must be residing in Germany, but when Hitler came to power, they left or perhaps he left the place from there. Hoping to find refuge in Florent. Mrs. Frank, Anne's mother, she is a source of many conflicts with Anne during the two years that family spends in hiding. So perhaps during the war, okay, they must leave because if they have found, remember, Hitler had killed plenty of six and a half lakhs of Jews. Therefore, if he found any Jew, he would kill them. He would send them to concentration camp. He would send them to gas chambers. And they had to powder and die. They were given poison. And this is how it was a dark page of, a dark hole of the history. If you study down the pages of history, we know what Jewish people have suffered from. Okay? It is much more than what today we have understood from COVID-19 or this pandemic. Mr. Van Dan, a Jewish businessman and associate with, with Mr. Frank, so perhaps a family friend of Mr. Mr. Otto, Mr. Otto, that's the father of uh, Anne, and Van is a businessman, and again a friend of Mr. Frank. Mr. Casey, Mr. Casey is her teacher who punishes Anne getting annoyed with the talkative nature. Again, Anne is just like one of us who likes to talk, wants to express her desires and whenever she is there, perhaps there are many of us. Now that is one of the things which I want you people to understand. Sometimes you are asked that you talk so much, sometimes you say that you make a lot of fun or sometimes you may say that you are having such a funny nature but sometimes the people who see this your strength as negative point can turn out to be a very, very, you know, very, very edifying talent of yours. See, today, perhaps in 1942, at the age of 13 to 14, Anne must have never thought that being just a simple and ordinary girl today in, in 2020, we must be studying about her. But she started writing down, you see. And my dear friends, I would like you also to understand. Search for your talent. Talent is not that you imitate someone. Talent is not that you make TikTok videos. Talent is not something that you just want to act like someone else. Talent is you find what you can do specifically unique in a unique way. So that is what a talent is. And talent is always inborn, my dear friends. You can do that. And friends started writing, perhaps unaware of what will be the result of and today we see. After so many years, okay, now 40 to say to 60 and almost 80 years, okay, 78, 80 years, we are studying and friends. So this is what my dear friends, I just want you to become aware of. Okay? Yes. Let's move overview of the chapter. And friends first entry, okay, and friend first entry in the diary. What is that? Let me read. And friend, a 13-year-old girl, was gifted a diary by her father. 
So she decided to write in her diary which she considered to be her best friend in loneliness and named it a kitty. Can we ask what was the name of her diary? Kitty. She began writing when we Kitty. Okay? Yes. She began writing in 19. Now that is a very important date and figure for us because it's uh, to be remembered. In her first entry, she expressed a desire to confide everything. Express a confide. Let me keep the secrets of my diary. Everything to the diary has hadn't been able to do. So anyhow. Okay, and that's a very important thing. Why? Because you want to tell your secrets to the person or to think which will not share or who will not share to anyone. So that is one, very important. She felt that paper had more patience than people. And it's true. We people when moved with, sometimes you see, we have a habit. We share the most cherished experience to our friends and we say, don't tell anyone. It is only for you. And what do we do? We spread the same news to others and we also repeat the same thing saying, you don't tell. Because you are my best friend, I have been telling you this or I don't to tell you this. And that's how it is, you know, a chain. So this is what we have felt. That whenever you have shared a secret of yours, it can be leaked. Okay. But here, paper is enabled to keep more patience, enabled to keep more secrets. Yes. Secondly, she thought that nobody would be interested in her diary as she was a small girl. That is also true. Suppose you want to pick up a novel, suppose you want to pick up anyone, would you just take anyone, seven days, standard girl or boys book and start reading? No. You may say, what this fellow is a very, very small guy and he will not or she will not be able to write intellectual stuff. So this is one. Then, her childhood and family and call her father the most adorable person. Lovely. Because normally the daughters are very much close to the dad. He was 36 when he married her mother, who was just 25, for an age uh, gap between mother and father. She has an older sister, Marcotte. She had about 30 people around her. See, there's a small pretty family of four of them, but almost having 30 people around her. She did not have any of the close friends, and therefore, the only friend who became that was her diary. Okay, true. They lived in Frankfurt, sorry, Frankfurt for some times, but as they were Jewish, they had to migrate to Holland for refuge. As I said, being a Jew, they had a lot of threat of Hitler. And therefore, they had to fly to, they had to move to Holland in order to find refuge. Okay, so that was. Her mother stayed with her grandmother but went to Holland her, uh, no, but went to Holland to her father. Okay. So they, they, the grandmother who stayed there, but the, the entire family moved there. And the schooling. Because but the family has moved and she remained with the grandmother. She was sent to a Montessori elementary level, primary level, nursery school. She stayed there until she was six. So there are in junior KG, senior KG, okay, play school, what we have is a Montessori. Okay. At her farewell, she and her headmistress, Mrs. Cooperus, had tears in her eyes. Perhaps Anne must have been a very, very small, very, very loving girl. And therefore, the keeper of the of that particular girl, Anne, felt very sad on leaving her. Her grandmother said, in 1940, when her grandmother fell ill, she had to be, because it's due to perhaps the age. Operated upon, but she did, so, sorry, she died in January 1942. It gave her a shock and she did not write her diary for that period. But later on, again in order to find solace, comfort, she started writing. Her views about teacher, now you see slowly, gradually she is, maturing in her age and normally if you want to understand the right view of a teacher you should gather a couple of or a bunch of students and at a particular uh, particular age 
students start talking about a particular teacher. So this teacher is a very kind, he is a very nasty man, he gives a lot of homework, he's a very rude man, she is very much yelling person, all these things. Because students have direct contact with the teacher. She has also, Anne has also developed a sort of view about the teacher. What is that? Anne was not good at maths and sometimes you don't neglect the teacher, but what has happened? Because you don't like some of the subjects. Even me, I did not like my maths teacher. The reason is, I did not like maths. So anyone who taught me maths was my enemy. So same thing has happened. Anne was not good at maths, so she had, sorry, she and her friends were always worried about it. Worried because if they do not do well in the examination, they are going to be punished going to be scolded again the exams were on the head but she was sure that she would go to the next class she was able to cope up at least with the class she always considered teachers to be the most unpredictable creature unpredictable why because they may come to the class they may blast they may give you any sort of homework they are the real masters of that particular time because in that particular lecture if you are caught you are caught so this is what she had experienced and some of you also may say that yes it is true teachers are unpredictable creature because you can't predict prediction can only be done of certain things which is going to be sure in the future but teachers are not so sometimes teachers if it is good condition or good happy mood then they may Praise you. Sometimes they may thrust you out. So that is what teachers are unpredictable creatures on the earth. So she told her friends not to lose hope. Let us be good. Punishment by Mr. Kissing. Kissing can happen to be her teacher. Precisely, bad teacher. Yes. And was. And was a good student and had a good relationship. Now, sometimes what happens when you are, sometimes when you are an average student, you are talkative. Sometimes, sometimes you are an average student, but you are very good at some of the things. Relationship from other teachers, or perhaps you have plenty of friends, and you are also talented with all the teachers except Mr. Kiki. Sorry, Kisi, who taught her maths. As I said, she perhaps did not have anything against him. But because she did not cope up with maths, she felt miserable. He was always annoyed by her talkative nature. Many of us, my dear friends, we teachers also have this problem. Sometimes the back benches, sometimes the people sitting together as friends and they keep on talking. We sometimes don't mind talking, but what happens? Because they create nuisance in the class. Right? Yes. So this is what Anne also was. So Anne, Anne's talkative nature made this teacher annoyed. Didn't know He used to give her extra homework as punishment. He asked her to write an essay on a chatter box. Very, very funny thing. Chatter box. Who is the chatter box who keeps on talking all the time? So the person, now she was named as a chatter box. And Mr. Kesey asked her to write an essay on the same topic. He also put a slip on her back to remind it about that. You see, sometimes what happens when you are mad at something, teachers may ask you to do the same thing. And it is very much annoying. But here, yeah, completion of homework is very important. And therefore, Anne is a very, very nice girl. She did. She wrote almost three pages. Okay. And wherever she understood the necessary point of view, remember what a chapter box is. Now, if I ask you, first of all, you may laugh. Sometimes you may get angry. What the nonsense topic is this? But at the same time, she also is a funny girl. She is a very much talkative in nature. And therefore, she started collecting the points of the chatter box and wrote a beautiful essay of three pages. Imagine that. She defined it as a feature of a student. Can you imagine? <laughs> sometimes you may laugh. But it is a feature. 
being a talkative or chatter box it's a feature it's an important part of the student and mentioned that she inherited that trait from her mother who was also who was also used to talk much she told that talkative nature is good for students and she put that blame on her mother that i have inherited what what can i do from my mother so being a funny at times homework given again as punishment amen why because mr kissing must have thought if she did not write and what will she be able to write on this topic i can find but she really praised her talkative nature praised her mr kissing gave homework in order so that she can change her behavior but on the contrary what has she done she has told that it is very good as a student to talk so if you talk it is good for you and i do not know because i have inherited from my mother amen homework given as a punishment okay mr kissing read ants as a in front of the class and laughed once again he gave her another essay punishment on a topic an incorrigible chatter box what is an incorrigible chatter box an incorrigible chatter box is the chatter box which cannot be corrected now incorrigible which means it is impossible to correct someone and quack 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 said mistress chatter box mistress chatter box so she has been given a title okay yes and mocks mr kissing amusingly with her homework now you see and must have felt bad but what has she done she writes beautiful essay even on that and writes a story about incorrigible behavior of her let's what and wanted to write something interesting and different than this okay this time so she sorry with the help of the friends say who was good at poetry she sorry she wrote an essay in verse like a poem beautiful it was about three duckling going deaf because their father duck beat them as they quack way too much now remember three ducklings they did not hear anything and ducklings used to make quack 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 hear quack they quack everyone quack 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 now that ducklings quacked so much that father gave them beating amen now what will that make difference to the deaf ducklings because they are deaf they cannot listen to now that is a story for the students point of view it is here quack there quack everywhere quack 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 but from teachers point of view it is an insult okay so that is what my dear friends he felt bad and he felt very much disturbed so mr kissing took the joke in the right way and did did not bother them for talking after that incident because she has in a beautiful manner given a right answer says what can i do if it is good thing i don't say a tell of anyone i know that i am speaking so much but it is for the good i keep good relationship so here mr kissing understands that she is right in a way and therefore does not give any longer so that is what my dear friends sometimes your negative thing can turn out to be a positive thing sometimes you may just start singing okay now this days we have many stars coming up in sare ga ma pa online and therefore if you start singing you also can be trained or you can train your voice so this is what sometime you are talent sometime you are only a bathroom singer but you can have a stage okay yes my dear the chapter highlight and frank lived in holland and hitler invaded okay and slowly the diary keeping kitty has name punishment is given second punishment the chapter box mistress chapter box all these things are given Okay, the grandma said he should see die in the monastery. Mr. Kissing is there. Okay, and the punishment is given. And in punishment, she has learned 
how to write an essay make it now all these things we come to know because we have her diary from 1942 she has mentioned this my dear students for us the lesson to learn from and friend is your negative talent or your negative thing which is for people okay a minus point can turn out to be a very very much positive talent in you yes thank you very much we shall see i i shall send you the notes and later on when we make uh, when we gather together we shall also discuss about the question keep reading and please read this story at least thrice so that you have you understand all the minute and small points which are given in the textbook thank you very much